Welcome to Taco Tech Time here. All right, so we're gonna be going over the glucometer. I've heard of your suggestions, concerns, text messages, okay? I've heard and hopefully I'm gonna go over some of the reasons why and demonstrate the uh, live sample, the air codes, and the control solution. That way we're on the same page, make things simple. I wanted to clarify too why we went from the old uh, MicroDot Extra to the MicroDot Pro. And the primary reason is because the manufacturer does not make these anymore and I can't get any more, so the, the company gave us these for one for one swap out. So in this section, we're gonna go through a live test of a, a glucose test. And I know you've already been doing it, but that way we're on the same page. Uh, operational wise, it's the same way. So obviously get your Lancet out, your alcohol prep and your Lancet out ready to go. You're gonna enter the, lance, the test strip sorry, into the glucometer, wait for that beep. That way it activates it. And then go ahead, clean the, correct uh, the finger that you're going to test on. Take the Landsat out. And then go three, two, one, nice and hard and firm. Squeeze as much blood as you can. Obviously some patients are more difficult than others, but as about that size is perfect. And then you're going to have a tap the uh, test strip in, you hear that beep, wait for that countdown, it's, it is eight seconds, and as soon as you hear the double ne next beep, that gives you the reading there, and we're at 110, so we have a healthy patient here. <laughs> So air code three is, a, I'm gonna give an example of what happens, which is obviously not enough blood on the Lancet strip. So you enter in there, you're ready to collect your blood. Here's my example of uh, my blood sample that I squeeze out as much of blood as I can, and now I'm gonna try to obtain my sample here. As you see it kind of even go inside, you pull away, and immediately gives you air code three. That's because it may seem like it drawed the blood, but it did not, so you have to re-enter a new Lancet and get the, another sample from that point. This is air code four that you guys are commonly getting in the field, which is as you uh, plug in your test strip, you don't wait for the blood draw the blood diagram to pop up and you collect your sample too quick. So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So you click that in, You've got your blood sample going and you start collecting right now before you hear, see that diagram. And immediately, you'll start getting that air four right there immediately. This is what you do when you get air code 9C. 9C happens when you were getting ready to get your sugar check. You place the test strip in the glucometer gets activated, but then we'll give you the 9C code, and this will demonstrate how to get out of this. It means that a setting got placed on accidentally, but I'm showing you how to turn it off. So remove the test strip, hold down the power button, two to three seconds, then select down, you're in the control solution mode, select the power button, and it's on. It should be off. To select off, you're going to select the down button once. Now it's off, and you can push the power button again, shut it down, and now reactivate your test strip to confirm that it's not requiring a control solution test. and it will give you the blood diagram indicating that you, it is off. All right, now in this section, we're gonna go over the procedure for the control solution. The control, con control solution is gonna be utilized when you open up a new uh, Lancet strips, a uh, whole new container, and or if you feel like there's really inaccurate readings. That way you can verify the highs and lows of it. So right now we'll do the high. Uh, we have a high in red and low in blue. What you're gonna do is take your test strip, 
and go ahead and enter it like as usual. You're waiting for the blood drop to come up. And as soon as it does, there it is. You're gonna select, you push this down button and it's gonna show one, two, and three. And then you're gonna select one or three because that's where testing high and low. And so I'm gonna select number one. And as you select number one, now you can set that down, grab your low control solution, add a dot, micro dot of sample there, and then enter the test strip there, and then hear that beep, wait for the eight seconds, and then as the number pops up, you'll notice right here on level one, on here will be between 37 and 67. All right, we're gonna now control, do use a control solution for our level three. Same thing we did with level one, the low level, we're gonna uh, test the high. Get your new test strip and enter it in as usual. As you wait for the blood diagram to pop up onto the uh, glucometer, then you're going to go ahead and select a downward selection and immediately you can see the level one, level two, and level three. That's the one you're going to select. Don't push anymore. You're going to wait on that. Then come to your level three solution, add a dot to the very top, set that down. And now you're going to take your test strip, dip that in, hear that beep. And now you're gonna wait for the number, which should be in between 201 and 270 for level three testing high. Thank you for joining me on Taco Tech Time. As more questions come in and concerns, we'll continue to make more videos to educate. And in the meantime, stay spicy.